G'day, good morning, and good evening, whatever time it is that you are watching this video right now. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. This time we're going to be doing something a little bit more video based, if you wish to say. That's exactly what it is. I don't know why you would say any different. So the video in which we are going to create today is this one right here. Now I know what you're thinking, Sean, I don't have that many cameras. I don't have 40 cameras I can set up in a circle around me while I do a bar spin. Well, fear not because you only need one, one camera and a tripod and a couple other things. I'll tell you what they are now. So you're going to want to get yourself some rope, but some string will do as well. You're going to need something that can weight the string or rope down. I just got this big old rock from my back garden. You're also going to want a tripod, which I've got back there. And last but not least, you're going to want some chalk or something you can draw on the ground with. So as you can see there, there is only a couple of things we need to create this video. Uh, it is pretty simple. It is just a little bit time consuming. Um, so you're going to one, have to tie that rope to the rock or something that's going to weight it down. Two, you're going to have some chalk so you can draw out a circle. Um, and you're going to need the tripod for the camera that you can move around. So for the first step, you're going to need to tie down the rope or string you have to the weighted object. As I said, in my instance, I'm just using a big heavy rock I found in the back garden. Now that you've tied the heavy object of your choosing to the rope or string, next we're going to have to tie the chalk to the opposite end of the rope or string. Um, and this can be whatever color you choose. I just chose white because it blended in the most. Once you've got the heavy object and the chalk tied down, you are now going to want to bring the chalk out as far as you can until there's tension within the rope or string, and we are going to start drawing a circle. Now the reason we're using the rock and rope to draw the circle is because by tensioning it and moving in a circular uh, motion with the chalk, it is going to keep you within, uh, I'll say almost a perfect circle. If you keep the tension line the same and you just walk around the rock, you should hopefully end up with a near perfect circle. Now that you've got your nearly perfect circle drawn up, you are now going to want to go around the diameter of the circle drawing little lines that you can line up your tripod with. I just eyed it up personally, but you want to move every few inches or so. And you want to make sure that the increment size is quite uniform throughout. And you want to go around the whole diameter of the circle until you reach back to the first line. Another good thing to note is where your front and back wheel placement is on the scooter and draw a little box around the wheel so you can know that when you position the scooter again to do another bar spin, it is in the same position as it was beforehand. Now comes the fun part. You have to do your trick of choice, mind the bar spin, over and 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 over again. Now this is the most time consuming part of the whole process as between every single bar spin attempt you're going to have to get up, move the tripod to the other incremented line that you have created, set it up, center it, jump on the scooter, do another bar spin and repeat that process as many times as it's going to take. But once you're finished up getting sunburnt and doing as many bar spins as you can to the point that your forearms want to fall off, you've pretty much finished the filming process. So now the only thing left to do is edit it all together. And so let's just jump straight into our editing program of choice and show you exactly how to cut it all together. Alrighty guys, now that we have opened up our editing platform of choice, mine being Sony Vegas Pro 15, it's just the program I've used for many, many, many years and I just feel most comfortable in it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to import the clip and I'll show you uh, how I edited it from there. Alrighty, now that we've got the clip in the sequence, we need to find where I come in for the first time, which I believe this would be the clip here. Yep, that's it. So I'm just going to cut that, which is S on the keyboard, if you are using Sony Vegas Pro. Um, if it's Premiere, I think it's C. If it's uh, anything else, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Alright, so here is going to be me walking into the scene to do the first initial bar spin. If I'm correct, walk in, walk in, hop and bar. There we go, that's what we want. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find the frame where I'm just about to leave the ground, which is going to be this one here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the clip, which is C if you're using Sony Vegas. And now what I'm going to do is move one frame forward and I'm going to cut it again. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the next camera angle and I'm going to do the exact same thing and try to line up where the next frame would be. So obviously the last one, I was just about to leave the ground. 
So on this frame, on this camera angle, I wanna be roughly around about there. So I'm just starting to come off the ground now. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna move this clip over. Now I'm gonna do what I done with the initial first frame here, which is move one frame forward, cut it. Find the third camera angle, which I believe should be around here somewhere. Yep, looks like this is it here. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing again. So the frame I want looks like it would probably be this one right here. Cut the clip. Delete everything else before it. Move it on down to where the rest of the clips are and do the exact same thing. Move one frame forward, cut the clip and move on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to continue on doing this for the rest of the clips. I think I ended up doing about 36 bar spins, maybe even more. So I'm gonna have 36 clips that I'm gonna to have to singularly select and cut like this. Um, once I have them done, I will come back to you and tell you what step is next. All right, so we're back and I have cut the rest of the clips, which is too many for me to count right now. But as you can see, I recreated the exact same thing I did for the first initial three clips for the rest of them as the camera panned 360 degrees around me. And every few frames, I would just change the positioning of not only the camera, um, but also where I was up to within the bar spin. So as you can see here, it's now starting to come around every few frames until finally the last one where I catch it and I land. Um, and then at the last frame, I'm going to crop it back into the uh, original video of just a video playing through normally, which is me landing. So it just, it completes the, uh, completes the picture, if you know what I mean. Also forgot to mention that I have changed the project preview um, to 1080 by 1080, as that is what I'm going to be rendering out as, as this is just gonna go up on Instagram, and 1080 by 1080 is completely square, which is perfect for Instagram. So honestly, what we've done so far, let me just quickly pre-render this out for you so my computer doesn't crap itself. We are gonna do a few more things. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is add some sound effects, um, and then after that, we're going to put a little bit of a color grade on it, and then apart from that, it's pretty much good to go so this is what the clip looks like right now boom looking pretty good if you ask me um so as said now we're going to add some transitional sounds and i just got this 23 transition sound effect pack from uh youtube just look it up i'm sure you can find one youtube to mp3 no worries i'm going to use this long Basy one right here for the first initial um, transition sound effect. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the drop of this transition right with the first um, cut, which will be right here. So oh, a bit more. There we go. All right, let me drag that back. And then we're just going to add a little bit of a fade on it so it comes in nice and smooth. So now we've got a uh, sound effect to this first transition. And now we need a sound effect to take us out of it, which I've deleted the rest of the clips, my bad. Here we go, so I think I'm going to use, not that one, not that one. I'm gonna use that one. So let's bring this back and then the exact same thing, but in the opposite way, we're going to line up the end of this transition sound with the start of the end clip here. And again, we're gonna give it a bit of a smooth transition in um, and that should be good to go. A little bit further forward. I'm gonna line up the sound of me landing, which you can see here by the sound wave pattern right here um, with the end of this transition audio. That's better. Much cleaner. All right, cool. Now, last but not least, I'm going to add a color grade. Um, I have a bunch of presets I have in the form of LUTs, which you can download for Sony Vegas. You can also download for Premiere, Final Cut, pretty much any editing platform on a computer. You name it, they'll have LUTs. Let's have a look at me rack. Ooh, I think I like it. Yep, I like that. All right, so let's quickly pre-render this out again. Take one more look at it, make sure everything is spick and span. Um, and if so, we're gonna export it. All right, let's check out the final product.
Ah, oh, that looks bloody awesome. Yep. Um, but that's pretty much it for the editing section of this video. So back to you, Sean, sitting at his computer. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, as always, smash that thumbs up button. If you have any questions regarding this tutorial or some suggestions on videos you'd like to see in the future, make sure you leave them in the comments down below. And apart from that, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm still bad at outros. Just bye. <laughs>